Hi, welcome to Fish in the Midwest. I'm Mike Frisch. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm at Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota. Reed's is one of the premier outdoor retailers in the entire Midwest. We'll learn more about them in a bit. Today we're headed to Cabotogamo Lake. We're going walleye fishing with Tim Watson, one of the best guides on Cabotogamo Lake. We've been with Tim before, it's been a lot of fun. Get in the boat, Cabotogamo, Tim Watson and walleyes, here we go. Today we're in Cabotogama Lake in northern Minnesota. Now Cabotogama Lake is in Voyagers National Park, so it is a scenic, very peaceful, very calm place. It's one of my favorite places to go fishing, not just because the fishing is world class, but because the scenery is world class as well. Too, whatever it is. Today we're with Tim Watson. Now I've fished with Tim several times in the past. He's an outstanding guide and we're chasing walleyes. It's the early part of the season, early June. Hopefully the bite is on. Looking like a walleye. Come on, baby. Oh, it's a nice walleye. Oh, oh shoot. Where is he? It's a big one. Come on, buddy. Get up here. There you go, Tim. That's a good walleye. That's a dandy, yeah. Shoot. He spanked it pretty good, too. Did he? Good. That's the right one. So, Tim, the protected slot is 18 to... 26. 26, so he's definitely a protected fish. Yeah. Yeah. But, man, you get into a mess of those, how much fun is that, huh? Yeah, especially when they... Especially when they smack it like that guy did. There you go. Just boom, he was on there. He was good, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get another one. Good job. All right. This trip, we're, we're just sort of in the transition between the cold water and the warm water. As, as spring is coming, we started off the year more deep water because we were in the 50s. Now we're getting into the 60s. The food sources, the perch are in, and they've spawned. The shiners are coming in to spawn. We're transitioning from a jig and a minnow bite to a Lindy, a leech, maybe a half crawler coming soon. Water's warming up, the weather's been good. But when you come this time of year, you probably should have a little of everything. This is a walleye, Tim. Good. I'm confident. Confident she's a walleye? Yeah. Sauger. Sauger, yeah. There we go. A good sauger, though. Yeah. So Tim, talk to us about this one counts in the walleye limit. We have a six fish limit, only four of which can be walleyes. So this would be a perfect one to add. That's a perfect add on. Number five fish. Yep, we call them bonus. Right? Bonus fish, yeah. And how does the sauger eat compared to walleye? Same thing. Same thing, right? Yep. Can't tell the difference. The only thing difference is the color. You got the brown, you got the dorsal yep. splotches. And no and, white tip. And no white tip on the tail. Yep. So, so that's it. But they're just cousins. Right. But eat the same. Got him. Ah. Hooked up, Tim. Huh? I'm coming, man. It feels like a walleye. All right. I put her on spot locks. So she... Okay. It's not a huge walleye, but it... it is a walleye. It is a walleye. Nice. There right, we go. Come on, Mike. Thank you. Well, you went back to a jig. I did go back to the jig. Yep. I was thinking about that. So that would be another one if we were eating. Perfect. A shore luncher, right? You got it. Nice golden walleye. Yep. Wow, oh, they're just nice. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by G3 Boats, Luz, Strike King, 
and explore Alexandria. Not the most graceful hook set ever, but pretty good with a pretty good with a bad leg, huh? He's kind of staying down like a I don't know walleye. 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 There we go. Good. Walleye, there we Michael. Go. Get him up here. There he comes. Another stinky pan walleye. Yeah. Perfect. So Tim, you've been trying that leech. It's kind of end of minnow season. <laughs> you know, it's, it's any time, you know? Yep. It's that time of year when they turn on to crawlers and leeches and... Yep. That's probably a 16 there. Yeah, good one. Good one, yep. Nice one. The protected slot right now is 18 to 26 inch fish go back. And our limit is six fish, four of which can be walleyes. I don't know. I don't like the looks of this. Walleye? That could be wrong. I see it a little white now. Smallmouth bass. Smallmouth. Yep. A little smally. A little smally, guys. So, Tim, we've actually fished these up in the fall and this is a small one for up here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they grow some big ones, don't they? Yeah. yeah, we fished them a few years ago up here in the fall. And yeah, they're, was, they can get up into that 20, 21, 22 inch range. Yep. Yep. So a little while later, we start getting into fish pretty regularly. Now, these aren't big fish, but boy, if you're interested in a shore lunch, these are perfect fillet size walleyes. Perfect eating size walleyes and fun to catch. We're having a good day. Walleye. Where's your net man at? He's coming. Oh, look at that one. Nice, Tim. Right in here toward shore. No, well, that was tight, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you get her? Good job. That's a good one. Yep. No, that's a nice fish there. That one's probably too big, huh? That's probably fairly close. We can measure them quick here. Oh, heck no. 17. 17, yeah. 17 nice. incher. Nice one. Good one for the take home fish. I look back and ask the question by the time I saw the rod tip bounce. He just kind of came with it when he hit it. Now it feels like it's not a bad fish, Tim. Ooh, huh? There we go. That's a good one. Oh, we got a lot of them in that size range yep. today here. Oh. Another one of those, probably 17s. Yep. Boy, if we were hungry, huh? We'd have a heck of a shore lunch. We'd have us a shore lunch. <laughs> God, they're just pretty up here and fun. That one, Tim just picked it up and just swam with it. Yep. Never, never gave me anything back. I was, I wasn't sure it was a fish to start with. Huh. But eventually, I figured it out. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right? Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Hannay's Marine, Blackfish Gear, Cabatoga Lake, Right Height, maker of the turret forward-facing sonar transducer mount, and Diamond Buick GMC. Tim. There's a good one too. I'll get mine out of there. Not a great big one, but I'm guessing it's an over. Oh, now it's coming pretty good. Doesn't feel as big now. 
Who's bending you? Pretty good. About the same. Yeah. Another eater. Thought he was bigger than that to start with. Yeah, he was bending the pole like he was bigger than that. So Tim, as far as time of the year, I mean, you guys catch them all summer up here, don't you? Yeah, yep, we do. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, people think you, the only time to catch them is in the spring, and some years, July and August are better than the spring. You know, right. it's, it's it, basically it's different locations, but you know, there's always weed walleyes, yep. and they're underfished. Yep. I spend a lot of time in shallow water, and then, of course, you got the reef walleyes that'll move off these shorelines and move out onto reefs and rock piles later in the summer. So there's one or the other. Generally, if you got some wind, you can still catch them shallow. If you don't, you get out on reefs and work that deeper water and, and still catch fish all summer long. So, yeah. So on this trip, I'm using a couple of different loose rod and reel combinations. I'm using a speed stick with a custom light reel. I'm also using a Pro TI jigging stick with a custom light reel. Now the Pro TI is a very high end model, super sensitive, got a great grip. I just love that rod and reel combination. However, for those a little more budget conscious, that speed stick is a tremendous value, super sensitive, super lightweight. And if you like a cork handle, well, the Speed Stick's got the cork handle as well. That's a really great jigging stick as well. I'm spooling the custom light reels with Contra six pound fluorocarbon. Now, there's a lot of different theories online for different applications. When I'm fishing walleyes with a jig, I like using the fluorocarbon. It's got a little more stretch than braid, so my jig behaves a little more naturally. However, it's not as stretchy as monofilament, so I still have good sensitivity. I can feel a bite, I know when to set the hook, and I have good hook setting power as well. Got him. I think it's a walleye. It's behaving like a walleye. He's pulling hard too. Sneaking them along the corner of the boat. Crafty that way. Oh, he looks good, Mike. Oh yeah. Walleye. Good walleye. Any pretty out there? Yeah, he is. Spit that shiner. There we go. Ooh, that's a chunker. That's an over there, isn't it? Yeah, that's a dandy. That's the cool thing about coming up here. You're going to get your food, but you're going to get some that just flat out stretch the string. Yeah. And this one did. That was fun. Look how fat that one is. That one's yeah. beefy. He's, oh. a, he's a chunky one for sure. He's probably only about 18, though. Well, you know, I grew up here, um, and Captogma grows on you. It's like paradise out here. It's a unique spot. It's a national park. Uh, I grew up before the national park, and it's just, you know, there's just something, and you talk about people, you meet people at resorts, and you talk to them and say, how long have you been coming? Lots of them for years and years. They come once, they love the scenery, they love the fishing, they love the peace and quiet of what we have to offer here. And, and another thing they love are the mom and pop resorts. You know, they're all personal. You know, the owners are on site, they're talking to their guests, and it makes it a place where these resorts are almost like family. And so all of that combination, and me growing up here, you just grew up loving it and you can't get enough of it. So that's why I'm still fishing. <laughs> Very big. Little guy. Little guy? Yep. Well, he wasn't sure he wanted it. Just hang on there, huh? Yeah. That's probably a two year old. Right? Yep. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Distinctive Cabinet Design. Superior Industries, and Starbright. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Oh, 
as you can. Not little. Little? Yeah. One of those two-year-olds. Now 10 to 12 is, a, is pretty much a two-year, two-year-old year class. Got him, Tim? He's good, too. Good, too? Yeah. Good. Big one, yep. Yep. Man, stay on there now. He's going wherever he wants yeah, to Yeah, he is. A big fish. Oh. oh, boy. Take your time, Tim. Take your time. That's the start of the show right there. Nice. Good job, Tim. That's a good one there. There we go. There's a cab walleye, huh? Yeah. So, Tim, we have caught him <laughs> from 12 inches to whatever this one is, <laughs> 25 plus. Yeah. I got him. Okay. He's, uh, go ahead a little more. 24? 24. There you go. I'll let you put him back. 24. Nice job, Tim. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice good. job. Good, good walleye. Good fat one. So they're in here from all sizes. All sizes, yep. Let's take a quick break from the fishing and go back to Reeds and Walker and see what they got going on. I'm with Ben James and I'm here in Reeds and Walker and Ben and I are going to talk about reels. Now here at Reeds you've got a tremendous selection of rods and reels as well. Today we're going to talk about reels. You guys have a full selection of the loose. This is a bait caster, this is a skipping and pitching, but you've got a full selection on the bait casting side, correct? Correct. Yep. Both and, uh, bait casting and spinning. Right, right. And the other great thing about Reeds, when you come here, these folks who work here, they fish so they can help you get to the right product for the job that you want to do. In addition to Lou's, you have reels from all the leading manufacturers, correct? Awesome. Next time you're in northern Minnesota, be sure to stop into the Reeds. Tremendous selection and a sales staff that's second to none. Well, Cab is a beautiful destination for fishing. As you can see, the scenery is world class. Uh, we see ducks, we see geese, we see several eagles during the course of the day. The other part that I love about it, in addition to not seeing much fishing pressure, boat traffic, personal watercraft are not allowed within the Voyagers National Park. We've got a 26,000 acre lake here that has very little development. Actually, less development now than it did back in the 70s or 60s. Oh yeah, another good one too. Good, perfect. Walleye too. Yep. Good one, Mike. See if we can't tease her over toward the net. Ooh. <laughs> I'll spin him back this way. There we go. You got him. There we go. Another good one. Yeah. Not as good as yours, but still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's over. Yeah, he is. So, Tim, we're kind of in transition time. The jig and the minnow bite should be ending. Yep. <laughs> and the leech and the slip sinker bite should be picking up, and you just caught one on a slip sinker, and I just caught one again on a jig and minnow. It's <laughs> amazing. They're confused still. They're still confused, yep. But, God, they're fun. That was fun. Yeah, pretty he fish. just picked it up, thunk. I like that. Yeah, that's great when they do that. Awesome. Let's get her back. So why do I come to Cabotogama Lake, or why do I love to come to Cabotogama Lake? There's about three reasons. Number one, world-class fishing. Uh, the walleyes here are second to none when they go, and they'll go during the spring, the summer, the fall. We've been up during all three seasons and caught them good. So world-class fishing, scenery that's second to none. Um, I talked about earlier the wildlife that you see, the eagles, the otters, the you name it, the ducks, the geese. Um, second to none scenery and the people. Tim and all the people up in this area are so super friendly. They want you to come and experience CAB. As always, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mike Frisch. We'll see you again next time. And remember, include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.